everybody, this is your girl Miata, and today I'm just here to just encourage somebody, somebody like me, somebody like you, somebody like us, all of us together, just to encourage each other, but no, on a serious note, this is one of my favorite songs from 2015, and it is called Your Destiny by Kevin LeVar, and it's just such a beautiful song, and the words in there are just so, so incredible and empowering, it talks, it relates to me because... The, the lyric says, this is not a time to get distracted. This is not a time to go off course. You've got a work to do for the Lord. So don't let little things, the guy in the suit, the young girl in the scats, let that all distract you. Because as young people, when I walk with Christ, we tend to get distracted easily. So it is very, very imperative that we keep ourselves grounded in the word and constantly keep our eyes fixed on Christ. Because for me... Every day is a struggle to kill the flesh. I can't say I am holy and perfect. I'm not. But it's a journey with Christ. And I've come to learn that the, the world truly has nothing to offer me. And it is Christ that I thirst for. That's that's my hunger. And I just want to encourage somebody out there that um, the devil may be playing mind games with you and telling you you're still your past. What you did yesterday, he's going to hold you accountable for it. But... He doesn't have that power anymore. As long as you confess your sins and you're with Christ and you're trying every day and you're making it a point to kill the flesh daily, then he has no authority over you. So don't let him make you feel any less of yourself or like you're not loved because Jesus loves you. He loves you so much more than you can ever imagine. And that's the greatest love of all. And I know it sounds cliche, but once you get to have a personal relationship with him, you would get to testify for yourself. Because I remember as a new baby Christian, I would always hear people tell me stories. Oh, Jesus is so incredible. He is so amazing. He is so wholesome. He spoke to me this morning. And I'd be looking at them like, okay. okay. But it is until you fall in love with this man named Jesus. And you get to see that he loves you flaws and all. He loves you when you feel at your lowest and your darkest moments and you feel so ugly and you feel like the worst person on earth he's able to embrace you and speak all these incredible words to you and sometimes when we doubt ourselves go back into the word this right here is life when the bible says life and death when the bible says the the word of god is it is sharper than any double-edged sword it's living and it is active not to joke or it's not a joking stuff it's not joking stuff but like we constantly we have to go back into the word and and read the scripture and say what does christ think about me what does he say about me he tells me that i'm fearfully and wonderfully made you know what i'm saying psalm 37 verse 4 it tells us that if we delight in the lord he will give us the desires of our heart so if we just delight in this man named jesus then everything that i long for that i'm thirsty for that i need in this life it is already mine Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. So let Christ be your focus. And 